Do you think that women CEOs get um, are, are get greater scrutiny? Uh, I mean, the media tends to love women CEOs. We focus on them a lot because they're interesting and and not Exotic. the norm. And but but do you think that, or do you think it really depends on the the person? I in the think role? it depends on the person in the in the industry and whatnot. And it's interesting because sometimes people ask me, you know, um, are we successful because we have a lot of women at Ulta Beauty and we cater? You know, we have a lot of women guess. And I'm like, absolutely not. I think we're successful because we have a great business model. We have a diverse leadership team, diversity all up and down the board. And that is what matters. So while I'm proud to be a female CEO, that's who I am, I'm also proud about the fact that I'm leading a company that's quite diverse. And I am very optimistic. I'm very optimistic, actually, about that we can keep gaining on this, um, even though it absolutely <laughs> is going to take a while. Mm -hmm. So it's a two-sided yeah. argument. Yeah. We have a question from Raphael. Um, so Raphael, what do you have for us? Yes. So a lot of re a, a reader actually brings up the, the top of the glass ceiling and women, uh, we hear a lot of the glass cliffs. So is there such a thing as the glass cliff? I love this question. This was going to be my next question. So thank you, um, whoever put, put that question out there. Um, let me put this to Jen. This is something we've written about. You wrote write about in this story. Are women, the, the glass cliff, women being sort of set up to fail. Is this a thing? It is a thing. And I'm sorry to say it is a thing. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's self-selected because an interesting thing that we found is that women come up through the ranks often by taking the toughest job. And they may volunteer for the job that other people don't want. They may um, really just relish the challenge. But what in, ends up happening, regardless of gender, is that their resumes become the turnaround person, the problem fixer. And so they're more qualified to get those jobs. But then they get named to those jobs. They have very high profiles as women. And then if they don't succeed, then there's sort of a confirmation bias. Oh, well, we put her in that job and she didn't make it. And, and it's a lot harder to succeed in those jobs. I mean, that's- By definition right, it is. And right. so that's what we call the glass cliff. You sort of inch your way up there mm -hmm. and then you slide off of it and it, it actually can harm other people.